Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide and the sixth video of AWS Networking. In this video, we are going to talk about security group for your instances. So our agenda is to cover security group, the differences between security group and network ACL. Then we're going to do some demo how to create a security group, how to modify default security group, how to add roles and how to delete a security group. So what is a security group? As we learned in the previous video, network ACL act as a firewall for the subnet and a security group act as a firewall for your instance to control inbound and outbound traffic. So with ACL, so with network ACL and security group, we have two layers of protection. And from the picture, it is very clear that network ACL is the first firewall which is going to accept the traffic or receive the traffic. After the filtration from the network ACL, the security group is going to receive the traffic. So if you have any ports blocked on network ACL and you kept the port open at security group, that is not going to work because the first door is still closed for that port. So you have to open ports in the network ACL and security group to get the traffic till to the instance. Now let us see how we can use security group in a virtual private cloud VPC. So security groups apply at the instance level and not the subnet level like network ACL. So you can have multiple security group in a VPC and you can assign up to five security groups into the same instance. When we learn network ACL, we learned network ACL can apply only to one subnet at a time. You cannot have multiple NACL on a single subnet, but here the case is different. You can have security groups to the same instance up to five. So for each security group, you can add rules that control the inbound traffic to the instance and a separate set of rules for controlling the outbound traffic to the instance. There are some limitations on the numbers of security group, network ACL, VPCA and all. To know more about it, I would recommend you to visit Amazon VPC or documentation website and here is a link. You can just have a look at it to understand the limitations of this SG and SEL and VPC. If everything works with just following some documents and all, that is fine. But when it comes to troubleshooting, you need to understand how exactly the traffic flow is going on through the VPC. So this picture gives you an understanding how it works. From the VPN or internet gateway to the router and from the router to the route table then to the network ACL. So if you didn't open any ports on the network ACL which your instance require, then that packet is going to drop at that place and you are not going to get access. You still keep waiting. And then the security group is the next place where you need to open the ports. So for example, if you want an RTP access, then you need to make sure that the network ACL has opened the port and also in the security group you have opened the port. Then you can reach to the instance. Now let us go through some of the basics of security group. In a security group, you can only specify allow rules, but not in a rules. So that is a difference uh, compared to network ACL. Then security groups are stateful. It means like uh, if you send a request from your instance, uh, like you get a response, right? The response is inbound traffic. So this inbound traffic, you don't need to mention uh, specifically or explicitly into the inbound and outbound list to have a in and out communication like uh, NSEL that is automatic when you add an inbound traffic then outbound will automatically add it to the list. Then one important point that you need to keep in mind that uh, it doesn't mean that the instances belong to one security group can talk each other. They can't talk to each other uh, unless you have mentioned the rules specifically. And when we explained uh, about the security group we always uh, said that the security groups are applied at instance level. Oh, but when we go deep, we would like uh, to, to make it like security groups are associated with network interface. So whenever you need to change a security group, you can simply change it because that is going to be associated with a network interface. When you look at the network interfaces, you will see like it's zero, it's one, something like that. You will see you can change it from there. 
Now let us quickly go through the differences between the security group and network ACL. Uh, you already got all these points but we will summarize it here. In security group you apply the firewall at instance level at the same time network ACL applies at subnet level and you allow rules only in security group you cannot create DNA rules in security group at the same time network ACL support uh, allow and uh, DNA rules and in network ACL the rules are processed in numeric order but at the same time security group evaluate all the rules before taking any action then security group are stateful which means the traffic return automatically regardless of any further rules on the next list but at the same time network ACL you have to explicitly allow rules for in and out of the traffic then security group applies to instance only if you associate with the security group but subnet as it is a subnet level the network ACL it automatically applies to all the instance in the subnet uh, whichever associated with the, or the network ACL let's move to the demo session what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the default security group in the beginning then we're going to create custom security group then we will see how to add remove and update rules then we will spin up an instance with the custom security group that we have created in this demo login to aws management console let us first have a look at the default security group for that uh, go to vpc then from the security groups you can see like what are the different uh, security groups that are available and this is the default one and you can see that there are many launch wizard one three two these are like if you didn't mention that which security group that you want to associate when you create an instance then aws itself associates security group and that's going to be a new security group so you will have a list for example if you have created 10 virtual machines instance then you get 10 security group if you didn't uh, explicitly mention which security group you want to associate with the aws instance then you can see the rules from here all the traffics are allowed because there is no DNA rules that is why you don't see any kind of uh, DNA or LO uh, at this list you can only see that the, the traffic protocol port range destination and description so all the traffics are allowed uh, for the inbound all the traffics allowed in the sense uh, from the VPC but you can uh, for the outbound all the traffics are allowed you can uh, connected to any uh, machines outside this uh, outside this VPC uh, for the instance assigned with this default security group it is always not recommended to go with the default security group but in case if you want to edit some of the uh, rules here you can just click here and you can add rules here so this is the one option but it is always recommended to create a security group with your requirements so for example i'm going to create a new security group that is sg uh, for web server let's say and uh, this is to allow port uh, for web and uh, rtp then i have options to associate with my default vpc i don't have any other vpc at present now so let's click to create then close now this is a new security group uh, you can give a meaningful name here so that uh, uh, you can understand it uh, when you want to associate it with uh, the the instance that you're going to create so now we can easily understand that this security group is for web and uh, uh, rdp access so i'm going to add the rules at present uh, there is no rules at this uh, at this security group you can see here and when you look at the outbound all the traffics are allowed by default so if this is not acceptable for you then you have to edit it anyway let's let's add rules for the inbound connection then 3389 is a port range for rdp then anywhere then i can put a description here like rdp from anywhere it's always good to have an ip address uh, in the list instead of anywhere uh, but uh, as this is for the demonstration i'm gonna put anywhere option then i can I have to edit rules and you can see now it became two separate lists because the one is ipv6 and the other one is ipv4 then i'm going to edit rules with uh, with custom tcp then port uh, 80 for example then this is for http 
then save rules so that is done now I'm gonna create a new instance for that go to EC2 click on the running instance I don't have any instance at this moment let's click for the new instance then go and select one of the instance image then go to the configuration details you can choose one of the subnet here that means uh, you are selecting your availability zone then an auto assign public IP is enabled then you can see the the E0 this is a network interface that is going to be assigned let's go to the configure security group option then here you can see a default security group is going to be created with this instance I don't want it because that will pop up the entire list of your security groups let us select one of the existing one and this is the SG web that we created for specifically for this demo purpose so just click on the review launch button and now you can see this instance is going to spin up with this ports open let's click launch I have an existing key pair so just acknowledge and move let's see the progress here now the instance is ready let's try to connect this one get the remote desktop file and also get the password now you can see the connections are progressing so this is how you can create a security group ports so that how you can open ports so that you can reach to your instance and this is instant level more specifically this is applied or associated with the the network interface so that is also need to keep in mind and now let us uh, go through some uh, some of the features of uh, security group for that go and select you can also select security group from from your ECT management instead of going to VPC when you look at the left plane you will see that uh, security groups under network and security from here also you can see all the security groups associated here so if, now if you want to accept any traffic uh, from an instance which associated with a group A security group instead of opening all the same ports in SG web with source and destination you can simply add uh, a new role and when, when it comes to source you can uh, select uh, security group here so for that the security group here is security group here is default so this means that uh, any machines with the same security group can communicate with the instance with this instance over the ports that is allowed in this security group so instead of having the entire list again this is an easy way uh, for you to uh, get connected with the other instance so thank you for watching this video in the coming video we're gonna see how to do VPC peering uh, this means to connect between two VPCs uh, there is no default connectivity between uh, VPCs we have to specifically uh, create a connection and VPC peering is one of the method VPC peering is the method that uh, provided by AWS to connect between two VPCs so in the next video we're gonna see that thank you for watching this video subscribe my youtube channel for more videos